In the last lesson, we learned how to solve for the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium in something known as the matching pennies game depicted here. At the end of the lesson, I noted that the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium is at least a little bit weird. Remember, the definition of a pure strategy Nash equilibrium is one in which no player has an incentive to change their action. That condition is actually true as well in a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. However, there's a funny implication when considering mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And I mentioned this in the last lesson. It's that for a player to be willing to randomize, that player must be indifferent among all of the actions that it randomizes among. So what do I mean here? Let's go through an example with some math and, and kind of explore this idea a little bit more. So remember the Nash equilibrium, the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium is when both players randomize with probability equals 0.5. They play heads with probability 0.5 and each of them plays tails with probability 0.5. Okay, so let's look at player two's expected utility when player one randomizes with probability 0.5 and player two plays heads. Well, in this case, 50% of the time, player one will play heads, and because player two's strategy is fixed at heads, they'll match, so player two will earn one. But 50% of the time, player one will play tails. Because player two's strategy is fixed at heads, they won't match, so he'll get a reward or a utility or a payoff of negative one. And of course, in expectation, the average payoff for player two is zero. How about the expected utility for player two when player one randomizes with probability 0.5 and player two plays tails. Okay, again, this is relatively straightforward. 50% of the time, player one will play tails, so player two will earn a payoff of one. But 50% of the time, player one will play heads, and because player two's strategy is fixed at tails, he'll get negative one. And of course, this is equal to zero. Now, what is player two's, so first of all, we see that player two, when player one is playing 0.5, which is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, he's indifferent between playing heads and tails. And you can do the math out, but if P was greater than 0.5, then expected utility for player two would be greater by also playing heads. And if P was less than 0.5, player two's expected utility would be greater when he plays tails. But, assuming player 1 is randomizing with probability 0.5, what is player 2's expected utility when player 1 randomizes with probability 0.5, but player 2 randomizes or plays heads with probability Q? Okay, we can write this out. So it's 0.5 times Q. This is them both playing heads. So 0.5 times Q uh, proportion of the time player two will earn one plus 0.5 times one minus Q. This is player one playing tails and player two playing tails because one minus Q percent of the time player two will play tails. He'll get one. We can keep going here. So half the time player one will play heads and player two will play tails. This is equal to neg, and he'll get a payoff of negative one. And half of the time, player one will play heads, and player two will play tails, and he'll get negative one. If we multiply this out, this is just a simple equation, we see that independent of Q, player two will earn zero. So what does this mean? When player one randomizes with probability 0.5, Player two is indifferent between always playing heads, always playing tails, or randomizing between heads and tails with any probability. So what probability does the Nash equilibrium, or the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, assign to Q? Well, the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium says 
Q equals 0.5 because if Q is equal to 0.5, then player one is indifferent between playing heads, playing tails, or randomizing with any probability, including probability 0.5. So if both players are playing heads with probability of 0.5, no player can do better by changing its strategy, but the players are indifferent among any of the strategies they can choose, as well as any probability distribution they place on their actions. So like I said, the, na the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium is a little bit weird because in equilibrium, Although the players are what we call best responding, they can't change their action to do better. They are indifferent. They don't care which action they choose because all of their actions that they randomize among gives them the same payoff. Now this is really digging down into the weeds of a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Uh, and as I said in the last lesson, this is kind of a bonus for those really interested in mixed strategy Nash equilibrium and looking to go on further their studies in game theory. If this is unclear, uh, no worries. The rest of the lessons will focus on pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Like I said, this is a bonus lesson and it will provide some extra references for those interested in learning more.